Hello data friends, this is Aaron from Saturn Cloud. So today I'm going to show you how to speed up your machine learning experiments using Saturn Cloud. So let's get started. Here I'm inside our Saturn Cloud interface on the Jupyter server page. So these are your workspaces essentially for doing all of your data science work. They're backed by Docker images that have all the packages you would need from Anaconda or PIP or from Linux. And it has a very familiar JupyterLab interface for you to get working. So what I'm going to do here is open up a notebook that has an example of a machine learning experiment that in the way that you might do it on your laptop. So we're going to load some data with pandas, we're going to do some machine learning with scikit-learn, and we're going to do a hyperparameter search that takes quite a while. And the next thing I'll show you is how to make that way faster using a Dask cluster on Saturn Cloud. So the experiment that we're running is using publicly available New York City taxi ride data and we're using attributes about the taxi pickup so the number of passengers and the time of day to predict what the cost of the taxi ride might be or the fare amount and we'll take a sample of that data just for this exercise but we see you know 760,000 rows in this data set we'll generate some features and then here's the code to set up the grid search so we do things like scaling the numeric features and then doing one hot encoding with the categorical data because we're training a linear model. And the model that I'm training here is an elastic net model, which would benefit from hyperparameter tuning because you have to choose the L1 ratio, which is the balance between the L1 and L2 penalty in the elastic net. We'll also try different values of alpha and then we'll kick off our grid search. So scikit-learn has a bit of parallelism built into it where you can set n jobs equal to negative one in your grid search. And what it'll do is it'll run it, run the grid search on all of the cores in your machine. So each processor, each core will get a different uh, part of the grid to fit. So here we have 1200 different fits that we need to do and eight workers corresponding to the eight cores. So I'm gonna open up a terminal window just to show you how our resources are being utilized. So as this is running, we can see here that all of our cores are fully saturated, which is great because we want to make sure that we're using all of the hardware that we have. What's not great is if you let this run for a while, it would take quite some time to run. So I've had one that's been cooking for a while and okay, it's done. And that took just under three hours to run. So that's not great, right? Because that means you have to kick it off when you leave for the day, let it run overnight. If there was a bug in the pipeline, you would come back and you have to start the whole process over again. And then you're out half a day waiting for it. And then you can't iterate, right? You want to be able to iterate on this model as, as much as you can so that way you can get it to production as fast as you can. So we'll go back and we're going to try this with Dask. So let me stop this one and I'll close this. And then I'll open up a notebook doing the same exact thing, but on a Dask cluster. So if you're not familiar with it, Dask is a parallel computing framework built in Python. It can do low-level parallelism, but it also has objects that wrap pandas, data frames, numpy arrays, and it interacts really well with scikit-learn. So you don't have to change a lot of the code. You don't have to change the way that you're thinking about writing the code because it all works and it gets parallelized with Dask. So what Saturn Cloud does is we handle all of the infrastructure for you to launch a Dask cluster. So you don't have to think about Kubernetes. You don't have to think about networking or security. Your cluster is just here, ready to go. So I have a 20 node cluster now, and it has over a terabyte of RAM, which is great. Really exciting. So I'm going to open up this Dask dashboard, and we'll see it running in just a second. But let me move it over here to the side so I can show you both things at the same time. And we'll get this thing rolling. OK. So we'll load the data the same way. And this chunk is actually exactly the same, except we're using the Dask data frame read CSV instead of the pandas read CSV. And that executed a lot faster. We have the same number of rows. And our feature engineering code looks exactly the same. The grid search looks very similar. We imported a few different classes from Dask ML instead of scikit-learn because Dask does some optimizations around your pre-processing and around your grid search to do it a lot faster and parallelize it across your cluster. But we're still using scikit-learn's elastic net model. So pipeline is set up the same way, and then I'll kick off this grid search. And so now we see on the right in our desk UI that 
Dask actually keeps track of a graph of tasks that you need to do for this grid search. So it knew that it had to read all these CSVs, it did all this pre-processing, and all those steps are done now, except for the elastic net fitting and then scoring. So this task stream right here shows you all of the processes that are running across all the machines and all the cores on those machines. And we can see that there's 1,212 elastic net fits, which correspond exactly to the number of fits that's in our grid search. So we'll give this just a few more seconds, and we'll see that it's going to be done in just a second. There it goes. And there it is, 49 seconds. So that's a lot faster than three hours. And I had to change roughly 10 lines of code, add a couple lines of code at the top to initialize our Saturn cluster. So that gets me really excited because now I can iterate on my machine learning a lot faster. I can get to production faster. And with Saturn Cloud, I can take this exact Docker image that I developed this model on, deploy that, and use it for serving the model. So if you want to check out the code, we have the code for these examples on GitHub. And if you want to check out Saturn Cloud, you can just go to saturncloud.io and click this Try Saturn Cloud button. We're offering a seven-day free trial right now where all of your data lives inside of your AWS account. Saturn Cloud gets installed inside of your AWS. You can try us free for seven days and then tell us what you think. So thanks again for watching this video and stay tuned. We're going to have a lot more for you.